Let's take a look at graphing the inverse of a function on the TI Inspire calculator. First thing we need to do, of course, is to get a graph page. And just for purposes of illustration here, I'm going to enter the first function, f1 of x, as the reflecting line. So y equals x, or f1 of x equals x. This is just the diagonal line that's going to act as the reflecting line for the original function to create its inverse. So let's see what that does for us here. Let's go ahead and enter another function. This will be the function that we want the inverse of. So let's just say it's x squared plus 3. So there's our original function and we want to get the inverse of x squared plus 3. So the inverse should be a reflection of this parabola over this diagonal line. So we would expect a parabola shaped a little bit like this over on this side and that would be the reflection or the inverse. Now to get the inverse, we're going to recognize that when we write f2 of x like this, that what we really mean is that y equals f2 of x. y equals f2 of x. And if you think about it, if we exchange x and y, which is how we create an inverse, that's going to give us the same as instead of y equals f2 of x, we're going to have x equals f2 of y. And we're going to literally put that in as text over here somewhere out of the way. And that's going to allow us to uh, graph the inverse. So let's go ahead to the menu key. Number one, actions. Go down to number seven, text. And we're going to just, anywhere where you've got some room, drop in the text box. And so we're going to put x equals f2 parentheses y. Hit enter to lock that into place. And then you can see up here we've got the little instructions and the text box mode. Let's go ahead and hit escape to get rid of that. We're going to come down here and we're literally just going to grab this text and pull it down to the x-axis. When you get to the x-axis you'll see the graph of the inverse appearing over here. So that's as simple as it is to do. If you want to get the inverse of another function, now all you have to do is change f2. You can double click on this like this and you can edit the text or the other thing you can do is hit tab and scroll up to F2 and you can edit it down here. So let's say we're just going to change this to, uh, I don't know, um, X cubed. Uh, I don't know, plus 2, let's say. Okay, so we've changed our F2 function. This is X cubed plus 2. And we've generated at the same time its inverse over here. And that's done automatically since this is going to stay defined as the inverse of this function.